Kieran Gallup here for No Smoke Bites. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by the new Commonwealth Silver Champion, Ebony Jones, here at South Sea Pier. Obviously, you've boxed at Wembley Arena, you've boxed at the O2, you've boxed at the SSC Hydro, and you've already had one homecoming, but how good did it feel to win your first professional title down here in South Sea? It's amazing. I still feel like overwhelmed by it all. I was just saying, I haven't been home for seven months, so I moved to Sheffield to train in Sheffield, I sacrificed about everything, so... For me to come home and have all my friends and family here watching me in one place, cheering me on, and I haven't seen them in so long, like it's an amazing feeling. And to win my first title, I feel like this is the start for me, getting my first title. Um, I can go on to the bigger fights now, on big, the bigger shows. But I was just glad that I, I got to win my first title in my home city in front of everybody and just do everyone proud. Because everyone who supports me is mainly from Portsmouth. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And obviously, you were able to force the pace throughout the fight. Uh, how did you rate your performance in there? I know you landed some good shots in there. Did you feel like you got a reaction out of her on some of those? Yeah, I felt like I landed some good shots on her. I thought, I thought, I don't know, at one point, I could have got the stoppage. Um, but that's just something. I'm still having my performance. That's something to work on in the gym when I go back. And obviously, I've, maybe I've still got a bit of ring rust. I mean, I've only had two fights uh, I added a lot of time out of the ring for my last fight, so I'm just sort of getting back into the swing of things now and just want to keep the ball rolling now. Yeah, and obviously your opponent come over from Kenya. I was just wondering how much you were able to see of it, if anything at all, and how much you really knew about her getting him over. I knew that she was quite wild um, through like wild shots, which sometimes can be harder to fight somebody like that than someone who's actually a better boxer because the shots are sort of coming from nowhere. Um, so it's just sort of sticking to what I do in clean, tidy boxing. And obviously, you mentioned uh, how wild shots. Did that sometimes end up smothering your work or did you feel like you were able to evade it pretty well? Um, I feel like I've done pretty well, to be honest with you. Obviously, there'd have been times, but my first 10-rounder, so yeah. it's just getting used to that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to ask. Uh, is there more in the tank? Do you feel like there's still an extra 10, 20, 30% on top of this? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think there was probably times where I could have done a bit more in the rounds but it's, so it's like my first 10 round and sort of sort of pacing it but I'm, yeah I'm just still over the moon and um, I'm always picky with my performance but at the same time I'm just so, I've been thinking about this belt for months and working so hard for it. Yeah absolutely and obviously you've got the common silver title now what's the trajectory for Ebony Jones are you going to go back down and wait again? Yeah, so obviously I had to have this at featherweight because when it's super bantam, um, Katie Healy had it, it wasn't possible to make that fight. So we just wanted to get a title. And now it's time for super bantam. Absolutely. And uh, I think I heard a couple names from out there, but is there any names in particular? Yeah, so uh, I was meant to... We, there was talks of me fighting Tyson Gallagher. I know she wants the fight. I want the fight. Um, we fought twice in the amateurs, so she'll be wanting to get... The revenge. I know she wants to fight, so and I think it would be a good, a good fight to make and a fight people want to see. Yeah, definitely. And uh, obviously, you've talked about the homecoming. I was actually talking to Joel after his win, and he spoke about the importance of bringing big time boxing back down to the south coast. Uh, I know you're based up in Sheffield now, but is that something that really interests you, bringing big time boxing back down to Portsmouth and the south coast in general? Yeah, hundred percent. I I love Sheffield, but Portsmouth always is where I'm from. It always say as my heart, it's where my friends and family are from. It's where I get most of my support from. And yeah, it's been great just to come down here and, and see everyone and have that support. Yeah, and obviously there's so many big names down here now. Obviously, Joel's going to get back in the mix yourself. Uh, Mark Chamberlain, Mikey McKinson. I mean, there's a potential for a really big card to be held down here, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I think he was always saying it like it would be good at Fratton Park. <laughs> that would be, yeah, that would be good. We got there's some great talent from Portsmouth, so I think yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations on your winning champ, and uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, appreciate it.